Hi everyone, it's Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. I'm putting together a fun video for you tonight, which is the June release from Impression Obsession. We have new stamps and new dies available this month, which I'm so excited. The dies are designed by me, so that's always exciting for me to be able to share new product with you. Let me go ahead and show you the dies for this release, um, some of the stamps that are being released, and the samples that I made to feature the products. So the first um, die set I want to share with you is called the Three Balloons, and it comes with these three balloon shapes. There's the standard um, oval balloon that you would see, a uh, typical shaped balloon, and it comes with a cute little stitch detail there on the side. There is a round balloon which also has the stitch detail on the side, and then there's this really fun uh, party balloon that has like the three little orbs there that you would typically see like at a circus or a carnival or a fair or something like that. So a little bit more special than just your typical little oval balloon. There's also the uh, small balloon strings die set. This comes with four strings. There's a straight string and three different curved strings. And then it also comes with a little bow that you could use to add to the bottom of the balloon or somewhere else on the string. So a really cute set. And then I want to share this um, dice or this uh, stamp set with you. This one is from Jeannie and it's called Party Animal. And there's just a bunch of sentiments here. I'll just... Uh, Hold it real still for, so you can see a couple of them um, say party like an animal, hope your day is perfect, um, hope your day is llamarific, have an unforgettable day. So she did a really good job of coordinating um, the sentiments in this set with a lot of the dies, the critter dies that Impression Obsession has that have been previously released. Um, so I hope you check out this set. I do have um, several cards um, that feature this stamp set here so and you'll see up here happy birthday it looks like it's a little off I actually cut the two um, words in half then so I could place it um, one on top of the other instead of side by side so let me go ahead and show you some samples that I made using those products the first card is probably my favorite card from the release and it features um, one of the sentiments from Jeannie's uh, party animal clear set. It features two of the balloons from the balloon set and then the bow and two different strings from the uh, small, balloon, small balloon strings set. And then it also features my previously released frog die, which I just love him. I love his goopy grin and I added some googly eyes to his face. I love his little polka dot belly. So he's just one of my absolute favorite dies. So I thought this made a really cute card and I love the vintage colors. So that's going to be fun to send. Uh, here's another card that I made using the balloon here and a sentiment from Jeannie's clear set, Make It A Hoot. And then my owl die, which was previously released from Impression Obsession. And then I also used a different uh, balloon string there on this particular card. So really cute, easy, easy way to make a card. Um, here I featured one of the sentiments from Jeannie's set, Have the Berry Best Day, and I used um, the previously released uh, bear die. And then I also used Jeannie's star background stamp, which was released last month. And then here is um, another uh, stamp from Jeannie. Did I call this a die? This is a stamp. Um, another stamp from Jeannie that's uh, like a grunge ground or grunge border. And so it's kind of heavier down here at the bottom, and then it gets... Um, the grunge gets thinner up here at the top, so it makes a really neat little ground. So a really easy card to make. And then here's another one that features the balloon. This is the round balloon and then the little curly string here. Um, and this die is previously released as well. This is the duck. And look how cute his little face is. <laughs> I think he's so cute. And the puddle down here is made using um, a die from one of the other releases this month. So I'll go ahead and share that one with you now. That comes from the die set that's called Party, Party Hat. So here's the little hat. It comes with a little topper, like a little um, frayed ball at the top of your party hat and then it also comes with this piece here which is like the little fringe that oops, goes down to the bottom of the hat so you can put it on top of the hat or you can actually put it um, under the hat like that and then here's the little topper again so it makes a cute little party hat really easy to use and so that's what I used um, to make the little puddle that the duck is standing in I used the, uh, the little fringy piece from the hat so Really cute. Um, here's another card using 
um, the party hat. So this one is again nice vintage colors for a 78th birthday. Oh, and let me show you, there are some numbers being released this month too. Um, they come in the same typewriter uh, font that I use for most of the um, word die sets for Impression Obsession. So it's a really nice typewriter font and it's a really nice size. They're about one inch tall. And to go with the uh, numbers, um, there are some number add-ons. So there's an exclamation mark, an ampersand, a ST for street, an ND for second, a ha pound or hashtag, a question mark, um, an RD for road, and a TH for like fourth, for example. So this is a, a good add-on set to have for your numbers. And then also there are other um, birthday words and they come in a similar font. So there's the word birthday, happy, uh, big, wish, and day. So those go this way. So for example, you could say happy birthday, uh, wish big, big day, things like that. And you could also mix and match these with the other uh, words, uh, word dies that I've released for Impression Obsession. So those are kind of fun. And here's another word die. This one is Big Wishes, where I've got like a handwritten big on top of a typeset wishes. And I've done similar um, words like this as well for Impression Obsession. So here's that card again, features the party hat and the numbers, which look really great there in gold. So that's a fun card. Here's another card that uses the party hat and the numbers. And then I also turned those balloon, or those uh, numbers into balloons, just using the balloon strings. And there you can see I added a little bow to the bottom of the eight. So I think that's fun. And of course you can see the shimmer there on the card. Here's another card that features the numbers. And so what I did is I just die cut a bunch of the numbers out of some cream colored cardstock, a blue pattern paper, and a red pattern paper. And then I want, wanted to make a 50th birthday card. So I just grabbed the two um, numbers here, five and zero, and then tossed all the other ones kind of around just randomly and adhered them down. So really fun way to make a birthday card. Any birthday card you could make this way. So really cute. Um, a couple other samples that I have here. This one features uh, the regular balloon there. This one is sh super shiny. Um, I covered it with really sparkly glitter after I colored it um, with a pink and white ombre color. And then this little lamb die was previously released as well. Um, he's really, really cute. He has lots of little details and I love his little face. And then I die cut him using a scallop circle and I made him into a shaker card. So I don't make shaker cards very often because they're a lot of work, but here's one for you. Um, and then this, It's Your Birthday is from Jeannie's Party Animal set. So real cute. Um, here's a card using the Big Wishes die that I, pre that I showed just a bit ago. And then it also uses the um, Pet Tags, which was a previously released die. And this is a dog um, by Nola. It's called Dog with Spot. And uh, I also used an Impression Obsession circle die there to cut out the, the uh, circle. So really easy card. And then there's this card as well. This features Dog with Bandana from Nola. And then I Woof You and Rough Day. Heard you had a rough day. Those are also from Nola and so is The Bone. Those are new images for this month. Really cute. And um, this uh, star um, oh, well, Starburst, <laughs> I guess I'll call it, um, is from Jeannie this month. She has a set of four, and they were intended to be like the burst behind a candle flame. Um, and I will show you, we actually have a couple of dies being released this month that are candles. This one is three and a half inches long, and it comes with the little melted wax that you could add to the top, or you could use it without. Um, it comes with a wick, and then a two layer flame. So that's a really fun die. And then I have a smaller one being released as well, which is two and a half inches tall, and it's the exact same style, um, exact same design, it's just a different size. So this is two and a half inches, and then it comes again with the melted wax, the wick, and the two layered flame. So those are real cute. 
And then another die being released this month that I don't actually have a sample for um, is this one here, and it's called Shaker Balloon. So when you die cut this out, you can actually make it into a shaker card. And uh, shaker cards are a lot of work, so um, maybe this will make it a little bit easier for you. But um, I, I didn't actually get to make a sample with this one yet. But check out the Impression Obsession website. The other designers do have some really nice examples using these dies. So I hope this was fun. Um, and I hope you enjoyed looking at my samples. Check out the links below to the Impression Obsession blog. We are having a blog hop where we designers are featuring the products. And there's so much eye candy to see, so much inspiration to see. And Impression Obsession does give away three gift certificates, $25 gift certificates to their store uh, for comments um, left on the blog hop. So check out the link below to the Impression Obsession Design uh, Designer blog, and there will be links to everybody who's participating, and we encourage, encourage you to hop along and see what we're all sharing. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this is inspirational, and maybe you found something that you liked. And uh, I know my Self, I'll be using these balloons quite often so I'll have to make a dozen of these cards I swear <laughs> so cute but thanks again for watching I hope you enjoyed and take care bye